enjoying your tea, Rex? Do you need a hand? Okay, spill. Dish the dirt. I've heard the rumors. Everyone's talking about you. You're everywhere. Or at least, you were. Yep, our dear friend Rex here has been making headlines lately. So it's time to spill the tea on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's start with the stuff we already know. The name Tyrannosaurus comes from the Greek words for terrible lizard. And Rex means king. Oh, I uh, didn't realise I was amongst royalty. They lived in the late Cretaceous period. On this island. Oh, wait, not this island. This island called Laramidia, the ancient continent which eventually became part of what we now know as North America. T-Rexes were carnivorous predators, so they loved to eat meat. They could grow up to 12 metres tall, had tiny arms, weighed up to 8,000 kilograms, and made this sound. Well, at least we think they did. T-Rexes are part of a group of dinosaurs called theropods, which included some other famous faces like Allosaurus, Velociraptor and Megalosaurus. While theropods were reptiles, they had some bird-like characteristics, like hollow bones, long limbs with hinged ankle joints and clawed three-fingered hands, just like a... Chicken! They're calling you chicken! Yep, scientists reckon that over millions of years, some theropods evolved to be more and more bird-like. If that doesn't ruffle your feathers, scientists have also found fossils showing that many dinosaurs had feathers, which means they were a little less like this and a little more like this. Oh, wait, that's a big bird. Oh, that's better. Okay, let's get to the juicy stuff. We've just learned some new things about T-Rexes, like, did you know there were more than 2.5 billion of them? <laughs> All right, calm down. That 2.5 billion is the estimated total over a couple of million years. There were probably more like 20,000 running around at any one time. Or should I say, slowly moving around. Yep, turns out T-Rexes aren't as fast as we once thought. Researchers in the Netherlands have found their walking speed was probably about 4.6 k's per hour which is a casual stroll for us humans. Oh, come on, keep up! They figured it out by recreating the movements of its tail, which would have swung in time with their steps. And you just have to look at the tail to understand how important it is for its walking. It's more than half of its length. The walking of dinosaurs was unique because of its tail. And with every step, it would slightly bounce up and down. So while maybe they weren't the fastest, I still wouldn't want to encounter one. Well, a real one anyway. Because another studies found they were able to bite through bone by keeping their lower jaw steady, just like an alligator does when they uh, bite through bone. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> well, we're out of tea. <laughs> Which is good because I think that's all the tea I had to spill. For now, anyway.